Okay, so we're at a typical valve box here, uh, getting ready to do a demonstration of the valve balls. As you can see, uh, there's ants around here, very angry ants, and uh, you can look in the valve box here, but unfortunately it is full of water, and this is pretty much typical of what you might find. This is our heavy duty adjustable uh, valve wrench. It is adjustable in six inch increments. Uh, we have fairly shallow burial depths here in Louisiana, so this wrench is already adjusted where it needs to be. And there's no big uh, technique to being able to get on a valve. It is trial and error, especially when you can't see the operating nut. I'm very lucky that the wrench dropped right on there. You probably won't be so lucky each time, so it will take some trial and error. This valve is in good condition. It is fully open at this point. I'm against the stop. I have made sure that the valve will indeed turn. We have a clip here that now reveals the half inch drive on our uh, valve wrench that the machine will connect to. As you can see, the machine uses half inch output drives just like a ratchet. A uh, very convenient way to connect. The primer bulb is right underneath the air filter here. You would depress that until you see the fuel in the clear uh, vinyl lines. Choke the engine. Make sure the kill switch is in the on position. And of course, great Honda engine. First pull. This is the clockwise side of the machine here. So we would be going closed with the valve since it is clockwise to close. Here's our electronic counter. We'll zero that out and just apply a moderate amount of throttle. I would certainly recommend on your initial demonstration, keep the speed low. As you can see, the machine can go quite, quite fast but probably about uh, a quarter throttle would be good to start with. You can see the numbers are coming up on the counter here. We're at 16, 17 turns. This is a six inch valve, so I'm start throttling back. I've got my 20 turns on it. The valve is fully closed. Disconnect from the valve key. I'm gonna put my counterclockwise side on to the valve key. I've got my electronic rotation counter on this side of the machine to zero out. And I'm simply going to return the valve back to the full open position. And my, the number of turns should agree. We should be at 20 turns when the valve gets back fully open. Seventeen, eighteen. Start the throttle back. There's my twenty turns. It's a good idea after you get the valve fully open again to simply put your valve T handle back on your valve wrench T handle. Give it probably about a quarter of a turn. It's going to make the next guy's job a lot easier when he goes to operate the valve.